Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Constructicons. And I don't know the names of all the Constructicons except for Long Haul. So I don't know all the other names for them. So if you watch this video and you're like, why don't you know the names of them? Well, because in the movie, they never state the names for Constructicons, probably only on the toys. Other than that, I got no clue, as the saying goes. No clue. Is a Revenge of the Fallen 2009 Constructicon worth it? Legends one? Yes. I got this for 10 bucks at the exchange. But before we get on to transforming him, we're going to get down to comparison. Here we have the Revenge of the Fallen Constructicon. One of the six Constructicons next to... Revenge of the Fallen Long Haul. And I dug out just because Constructicons, we dug out their G1 counterparts. Here we got Bone Crusher. Original Long Haul. Original Mix Master. You know I had to do that comparison, 1980s, 2009, and of course, good old Scrapper. But now we're going to get down to some Revenge of the Fallen comparisons. Here he is next to Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Class Brawl. I'm happy to have that figure complete in my collection. Some Power Core base movie designs. Here we got Sledger. Here we got Smolder and Chopster. Mm, Barricade. And of course, Lord Megatron. But now we're going to get down to transforming it, which is very simple. We're going to fold this up. Keep the legs like that. You fold this up to reveal his head, and it's not a bad-looking little head, but it's not my favorite head sculpt for a Constructicon. But otherwise, a very good-looking one. So glad to have some Revenge of the Fallen 2009 Constructicons. The rest of the comparisons are going to be in robot mode with a lot of the figures. Okay. So here is Long Haul next to that figure. Of course, we'll compare them with the G1 Constructor Cons in robot mode. Why not? There I say, why not? 1980s versus 2009. Figures, huh? If I can get it to work properly. Mixmaster? G1 long haul because it's precious. G1 y precious. Mm -hmm. 
And just because we're doing a lot of G1 comparisons with these, comparing old versus new. I mean, old versus 2009 old. It's new to me. And here we got original Bone Crusher. He kind of reminds me of Hook with this Constructicon. And last but not least, for the Generation 1 comparisons, 1980s versus 2009, here we got Scrapper, because it's precious. It's g one precious. Why not? But now we're going to transform the other figures, do a lot of comparisons. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay, we're doing a lot of these figures by memory because my memory is photographically good. So yeah, sorry this transformation's taken a while. But I'm used to this figure. I've transformed it about a hundred times. And here we got Revenge of the Fallen or Michael Bay movie. Brawl. Big Daddy Brawl. Next to his other next to the other Septicons from Revenge of the Fallen. Why not? How dare I say why not? And now we're going to compare them with Barricade, followed by Soundwave, by Dead End, and Hellstorm. Yeah, we're having a lot of comparisons today. Old comparisons today. Here's Barricade next to that figure. But I'm making it my goal to collect more Michael Bay Transformers. Because I don't have a lot of these in my collection. And I think they're pretty awesome. Some of the designs and robot modes are pretty cool. And I'm so glad I'm collecting more of these over my collecting years. I think they're worth the money. If I can find them for a good price, they're worth the money. Even if i got to complete them. And now we're going to, soon we'll have Hellstorm ready for comparisons. If I can get it to work. Come on, Hellstorm. Come on, buddy. Transform. So here is Hellstorm. Next to one of the Revenge of the Fallen Constructicons. Revenge of the Fallen, Dead End. Revenge of the Fallen, Studio Series, Soundwave. 
Robot Heroes. Ravage. And of course, we got a Jack Door here, too. The Toaster Decepticon. He Jack Door. He's a nasty looking Decepticon. And of course, the Bumblebee movie, Energon Igniter, Megatron, or Michael Bay style Megatron, just done like that. Like Michael Bay Megatron, if you want to be specific about it. And we're getting, we have the transformation on a lot of these memorized because I'm so used to transforming them so many times, it's become easy over the years. Leader Megatron. We only got two more to transform in comparison, and then we're going to do a group shot of the Michael Bay Decepticons I own. Come on, Slither. Time to freeze up. Transform. Got one leg done with Sledger. Now the other. And Sledger is a Decepticon, if you wanted to know. He is a Decepticon. We're going to put him with his fire axe, and then we'll do a comparison with him. Here is Smolder, next to one of the Michael Bay Decepticons. And he is a Michael Bay-style Decepticon, too. Just a power core. Last for comparisons, we got Bad Old Sledger. And then we're going to do a group shot of all our Michael Bay Decepticons. Yep. I love collecting these. They are so much fun to transform and mess around with. Because I'll say they are a lot of fun to transform over the years and mess around with. Ooh. And I just popped loose Sledger's arm, which I got to pop it back in the ball joint. Come on, Sledger. Take your arm back. And here we got Sledger next to Revenge of the Fallen. Constructicon. You could say Sledger is a Constructicon because he reminds me of a construction vehicle of sorts. But now, before we end this video... Let's do a group shot with all our Revenge of the Fallen and Michael Bay bots that we have dug out for this video. Big Daddy Bro, Lord Megatron, Soundwave, Sledger, I mean, Smoker, Sledger. Long haul. Of course, we gotta do dead end. Dead end. Bad old barricade, and I just knocked down poor Sledger here. Not Sledger, but Smoker. So I have a correction moment. But barricade does not like standing on his own two feet. When I have them on the shelf, I gotta 
put him in the back, put him up front because he doesn't like standing. Grab it. And finally, Ejector. Now, this is my entire Revenge of the Fallen M Michael Bay movie Decepticon update. And yeah, these are a lot of fun to collect, a lot of fun to transform. I might have to hunt down more Decepticons, more Autobots, to add to my ever-growing army of Decepticons from Revenge of the Fallen. If you like this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please make sure to like, please make sure to subscribe, make sure to comment, and don't forget to to like. You guys are awesome. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.